Greetings fellow descendants, Lars here, and today we're going to go ahead and talk about the week three challenges for the battle pass. Um, as per usual, I'm going to be uploading these on a weekly basis every Friday, and we'll just kind of go over what we can come up with for getting these challenges a little done a little bit faster, and see what kind of stuff uh, we can get out of it pretty quickly. So without further ado, here are the challenges. All right, well, on to week three challenges. So last week we did the seasonal week one and week two. Today we're going to just go over the week three. So last week we had, uh, for the week two, we had Kingston related missions. This week we have Sterile Land related missions. And also, looky here, we have supply coins for two missions instead of just one this time around. So we actually are getting a bump in supply coin rewards for missions. I'm assuming they're going to just periodically add new ones to the list here as we go through. So they're going to spread the supply coin gains out across the whole thing. Um, with the still bulk of it coming from your seasonal rewards. So you do your seasonal rewards, you're going to get a lot. You do these, you're going to get a little extra over the course of it to round out what you have to get all of your supply coin um, stuff from the battle supply shop. So what do we have here? We've got to do a number of different things in Sterile Land. But the big ones are clear four plus waves of Sterile Land Block Kuiper Mining for Sterile Land Commando. So all you got to do is go to do is do the defense mission for Sterile Land, the Kuiper Block Mining, and just clear to wave four and then leave. Clear to, fit, clear to wave four, then once you're done, you can go ahead and do the abort and then leave and then do it again. You need to do this four times, or you could just do four full runs of Sterile Block Kuiper Mining if you want the full rewards and all the XP and stuff for it. There's no problem doing that. But if you just want to get the challenge done, just do up to wave four and then leave. Uh, upon doing this, you're going to get the defeat enemies in the Sterile Land Battlefield 1000 from the launch Sterile Land Operation um, challenge because you're going to be killing a lot of enemies in Sterile Land Block Hyper Mining, so I would assume 4 plus waves will get you more than 250 enemies per run. Since you have to do it 4 times, you're going to get the 1000 needed for launch Sterile Land Operation just by doing the Sterile Land Block Hyper Mining. You shouldn't need to do much else for those. Sweep Sterile Land, clear Sterile Land missions. I think the Sterile Land uh, Block Hyper Mining counts towards at least one of these. But, I mean, this one is easy as well. All you have to do is go and clear the Anticipated Ambush Point 15 times, or go and do one of the Void Fragment missions, or one of the Void Fusion Reactor missions, which you have to do 10 Void Fragments and 5 Void Fusion Reactors anyway. So we'll go ahead and look at exactly which ones to do that will, you'll get, that'll get you this done the fastest. But if you just focus on doing Destroy of the Void and Pilgrim of the Void for your Void Fragment uh, missions and your Void Fusion Reactor missions, completing both of those um, will give you exactly the number of missions to complete the Sweep Sterile Land uh, challenge for clearing 15 Sterile Land missions, as long as you do them in Sterile Land. Now, if you don't want to do these in Sterile Land, you don't want to like make get all of these done at once, you can opt to do them elsewhere, but... I'm going to go ahead and cover the best way to get them all done at the same time. That way we can go ahead and just kill three, four, or five birds with one stone, which is a bird massacre, and it's terrible, but also it's efficient, and let's do it. Okay, so for Sterile Land, we want to go ahead and find the best Void Fragment missions and the best uh, Void Fusion Reactors for you to burn through so you can get your Sterile Land 15 missions, your 10 Void Fragment missions, and your 5 um, Void Fusion Reactor missions done all at the same time. So I would honestly say that this fire mission here in the Restricted Zone is probably one of the best for the Void missions, but that's only if you have a good fire descendant. If not, um, this one here for Bunny is pretty good. This electric one here you can do as Bunny is pretty good in the Rockfall. Uh, that would probably be my next choice uh and then if you wanted to do the viesa one up here that one's probably not too bad either although the rewards for that one are a little funky so i would say stick to either one of these either this uh this fire one here or this electric one here in either the rockfall or the, res the restricted zone or the rockfall zone i'm gonna go ahead and do the fire one because i am playing player who is fire
Okay, so you have three options. We can do the Rockfall reactor, we can do the Restricted Zone reactor, or we can do the um, Repository reactor. So, depending on how many shards you have, if you did the uh, if you did the electric one here, you're going to have more of your monomer shards that can be done uh, here at this uh, Rockfall reactor, or you can go to the Repository reactor. And if you did this one here and got more of the polymer shards, you can go ahead and do this reactor, all of them are going to be quick and easy. This one, you have to fight Reconstructed Ederlich. Over here, you have to fight two Elite Slaughterers. And over here, you have to fight an Elite Vanguard and an Elite Tracker. I would say the easiest ones to do are probably going to either be the uh, Restricted Zone or the Repository one. Because the Elite Slaughterers will spawn closer together. And you can take them out pretty quick. And the Eternal Ederlich isn't that hard. Okay, so he's just going to spawn. And he's already immune. Alright, we have to shoot these, that's right. Any which way, that doesn't take long to burn them. And he's done. And so you can go ahead and farm out. Um, and so you can just do these without opening up your. Without opening those up and you can just get credit for them. So like I could just do this, right? You don't actually even need the void shards. You just need to have enough void shards to activate the mission and then you're good to go. And I can just do this, right? I just keep going at him until he's dead. And he's gone. Okay, next up is complete an infiltration mission 10 times for the infiltration master uh, challenge. So this one, infiltration mission, infiltration operations or dungeons. You should pick whichever dungeon you want to farm for whatever material you're trying to get. If you want some of the weapon uh, pieces for... Like the weapons that just got upgraded, go for those. If you're still looking for a weapon piece or a descendant piece that you're farming for, go for those and just build up the amorphous materials while you're while you're running these. Um, so I'm not going to give you a specific suggestion to do on this one. I'm just going to say whichever one you want to farm for whatever you want to farm for. That's the best way to do it. Uh, so go ahead and pick whichever dungeon you want to do. Um, I'm going to be running probably the Unknown Laboratory, not because it's the fastest or anything, but just because of the fact that there are things I want from it. So I will be doing that to try and get uh, access to the amorphous materials I want and for the uh, drops that I want. So go ahead and do that. Do whatever it is that you need the most for, and that will get you the best bang for your buck. All right, next up we have module recycling, dismantle modules 200 times. So just do any missions, any missions that you can, anything that can drop modules, pick them up and then go dismantle them. Any blue modules that you have access of, any uh, duplicates of, go ahead and sort by blue, uh, the blue, the normal ones, and just dismantle all of the excess ones that you have that you have not leveled, that you're not using. Okay, so if you need to dismantle your modules, go ahead and come over here to the Cilion in uh, Albion, go ahead and dismantle your modules. You can sort by quantity here. And then you can choose normal, rare, ultimate, transcendent. I would just sort by normal. And then you, in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll have a button that says select duplicate modules. Go ahead and just highlight that. And boom, just from the blue modules alone, I have 266 ready to go. If you go and check your blues, you probably have plenty to do. You can just dismantle those. And boom, you're done. Easy peasy. There is your challenge done. No problems. Now, if you don't have enough for that, you can go ahead and just check your purples too, or just go keep farming for more. You should be able to pick up enough of these in about maybe a day or two. No problems at all. Scratch that. Okay, so now, last but not least is don't forget the assault rifle one. Defeat enemies with an assault rifle in invasion operations 125 times. 
So just do your daily invasions, try to equip an assault rifle, and uh, try to use that to shoot down as many enemies as possible as often as you can. This may take a few days because you probably want to burn through these quick. But with the fact that they've made these a lot easier overall, the invasions, this should be faster and easier to do uh, without worrying about the timer. Uh, my recommendation, if you don't have an assault rifle, like an ultimate assault rifle that you're utilizing and loving, I don't really know if there are any solid ones right now. The Eternal Willpower Assault Rifle is pretty solid of a gun. Just equip that and use that one. Uh, slot a couple mods in it and you should be good to go. It's got good base power, it's got good crit rate, and it uh, has a low clip size, but you just reload pretty quickly and just keep shooting. And just burn through a couple of extra enemies while you are uh, working your way through and you should be good to go. Okay, so that was all the challenges for week three. Um, they're pretty straightforward and easy again. This time we're focusing on the maps, it seems, so we should expect to probably see Vespers or Echo Swamp as the next uh, location on the spectrum for week four. And we'll kind of go from there. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and state really quickly uh, before we sign off here that I am still going to be doing some TFD content. I have a couple of videos in the pipeline here for the next couple weeks, but I am going to start branching out into some ARPG stuff. Last Epoch is uh, doing some kind of event coming up, and I've been interested to get back to playing that game uh, since I tried it on launch and I enjoyed it, but I took a break and I want to get back to it. So I'll probably be trying that out a little bit, as well as Diablo 4. I've been interested in that since my friends got me to try it, and I've been having fun with it. So I'm going to try it for a bit as well, along with the new expansion coming out. So expect to see some videos regarding those games hitting the channel too. I will still be playing TFD. I will still be doing the weekly challenges. I'll still be doing a couple of other videos, but I am going to do some ARPG content as well and see how that does. Uh, because I do need a little bit of a break from TFD right now. I've been grinding the game really hard, and I love the game, but there's not a ton else to do right now except for just grind for more weapons. And so I will be uh, trying out some other stuff to fill some time, too. Uh, if uh, you're interested in any of that kind of stuff, be on the lookout for it. If not, uh, TFD stuff will still be coming. I have a couple things in the works, so look forward to that. And yeah, if you have any questions, comments, or anything, leave them in the comments below. Let me know. I'll respond as soon as I can. And yeah, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you have a good day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.